The U.S. has started a 14-day mandatory quarantine for U.S. citizens returning from China's coronavirus hotspot, the Hubei province where the capital city of Wuhan is located. They are being flown to 11 designated airports where travelers are undergoing extra screening. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Nancy Messonier. At those airports, they will be screened for fever, cough, difficulty breathing. If symptomatic, American citizens and those who are exempt will be transferred for further medical evaluation. If asymptomatic, American citizens and those who are exempt will be subject to a mandatory 14-day quarantine at or near that location. The U.S. has also imposed bans for most non-citizens who travel to China within the past two weeks. Messonier says America is preparing for a potential pandemic. This is the first time in over 50 years that CDC has issued a quarantine order. The Pentagon said Monday the CDC and Health and Human Services have requested housing for up to 2,000 individuals that may need to be quarantined. The requirements were generally um, that in blocks of uh, uh, rooms of 250, so that can provide some sort of uh, uh, not overly um, dispersed so that you have some sort of continuity of having enough support staff in the area. Access to uh, uh, quality and uh, uh, hospital systems within the local community that the CDC and HHS have identified that can handle uh, the potentiality of anyone who is, uh, comes down with the virus and being able to be moved off to an off-base uh, uh, health facility. At a joint news conference Monday with Uzbekistan's foreign minister in Tashkent, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Americans the U.S. plans to have more flights heading to China province. to bring Americans back home from the Hubei province. We anticipate that they will happen in the next handful of days and we'll return those American citizens. We may well end up bringing some citizens back from from other countries as well. Uh, We're working through the details on that. We're working closely and uh, hand in hand with the Chinese government to try and resolve what is now this global uh, epidemiological challenge. On Monday, the Chinese foreign ministry criticized the U.S. and other countries for some of the steps being taken in response to the outbreak. Some countries have taken travel and trade restriction measures, including preventing foreigners who visited China over the last 14 days from entering, denying entry to Chinese citizens who hold passports issued by China's Hubei province, denying visas and canceling flights. As mentioned by Dr. Tedoros, we need facts, not fear. We need science, not rumors. We need solidarity, not stigma. Now more than 30 countries are restricting travel from China. Mariama Diallo, VOA News.